hello guys welcome back in this tutorial i will show you guys how to create a 3d logo for your business so now i will click on the a icon and click on edit to type in the business name So after doing this, I will head to the, I will position it at the center and head to the AB icon to change the font to a bolder font and a stylish font. So I will choose Vesling font for this um, design. So I will use the size to, to increase the size. And then related position to position it at the center. So I'll use the size to, to reduce and also increase the size of the text. So after position this at the center, I will change the color by clicking the color icon to black. Next, I'll click on the polygon icon and click on import to import the PNG floral design. So I'll use the pointers at the edges. I'll bring it closer. To the floral png i'll also position this at the center using the relative position icon so the next thing to do is to type in my initial which is the beginning of my business name and position it at the center of the floral and frame so I will click on the AB icon and change the font to a bold font and the size icon to increase the size and also position it at the center. So I will use the position tool now to make sure it is at the center of the floral frame. So after doing this, I'll have to change the color. So this is the color of music and this is the color code. I'll also show you guys how to input color code. How to use color code in this video. The next is to change the color code of the frame also. So you click on the layer icon and then choose the frame. So head to the polygon tree and click on color and pick this color this is also the color code for this the next thing to do now is to copy the test layer so you click on layer and choose the cosmetic layer and copy it after this, you edit to your slogan or to the business you do, to the details. After this now, you position it below the other test and reduce it and use this to make it aligned and use the size to, to increase and also position it make it a little bit lesser than the first test so you click on a icon and click on a bit to type in the other test So this is the slogan of the business. The next thing to do now is to click on AB icon and change this font to a stylish font. So I'll click on color now and change this color to black. So guys, use the relative position also to position it at the center. And then give it equal spacing by using the position tool. I'll also click on the skin care and cosmetic layer and also give it a little space above to make the both spaces equal. 
the next thing to do now is to use my grid by clicking the grid icon and then click on the grid below to position the grid down and eliminate those ones that is not ready. So just click on them and draw it out so the purpose of the grid now is to align my social media icon so i will import my social media icon now so i'll click on this now and then reduce it to take only the whatsapp to crop the whatsapp out only so i'll just bring it now and then use the size to, to reduce it to size 5 the width size and the height should be 5 and then i'll use the position to, to bring it down so i'll position it here and then click on the a icon to edit my text so i'll type in my phone number now So after doing this, the next thing to do now is to change the font by clicking on the A, B and then use any of these fonts. This is a default font. So I've used Amaranth Bold. So I'll click on color to change the color to black. So I'll reduce the size to also to reduce this to a smaller size. And then I make it aligned with the WhatsApp. The next thing to do now is to click on the polygon to and import the other social media icon. So now I'll crop only Instagram by drawing this from both sides and then cropping only the Instagram out. So I'll also reduce this to size 5 and then position it where the grid line is and give it space, equal spacing between the test and the icons. So I'll also import, I'll copy this now to write in my username on Instagram. So this should be your Instagram username. The business Instagram is and then I will bring it down and use the position tool to align it to have equal spacing. So while doing yours, make sure your stuff is aligned, all your text and the icons are aligned with equal spacing. So I'll click on import now and import the Facebook Messenger icon, and then reduce it also to size five. And position it with the grid so guys subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon so you can get updated whenever there is a new video thank you guys so we position this with the grid and then the next is also to copy the sugar layer to edit the username for the Facebook so we click on A and then copy so you, this happens to be the same as an so you just position it close to the icon. So make sure it is aligned with the Facebook icon. With equal space. So after this, I will have to change the colors. So I'll just have to go to this frame and then click on color and copy this color. So this is how to use color icon. So you copy this color, the color code, copy this color code, or just write it down somewhere. So I'll copy this now and then use it for the other text. So you have to just go back without clicking anything. So now I'll click on the skincare and cosmetics layer. And then head to color. Click the A icon and head to color. Now just click the plus icon without clicking anything. I'll click this pencil icon and erase just this and then paste or write it without and edit any other. Just click on this. And as you can see, the color has changed. The next thing to do now is to match the other ones you want to change the colors. So you can easily change them at once. So I will match those layers, I will want to change their colors. And head to the polygon tool now. 
then click on colors and pick that same color it will appear here already so you don't need to input the code again so after doing this now the next thing to do is to click is to align the layers with equal center so you tick them i just click on this and click on the relative size to and align them at the center align them at the center and after you've done this next thing to now is to make this transparent so you move to the next two and then click on transparent and then save as ultra so you click on the default and then change it to ultra and then save after you've successfully saved the design the next thing to do now is to head to your browser so you head to any other browser i would recommend chrome so you turn on your data for the first time and then click on chrome and type in photopea.com i wouldn't need to type this now because it is already my default my last um tab so this is photopea.com then once it loads you can off your data or just leave it so you click on files and then open ctr plus o and then choose the psd file that we'll be using so this psd mockup download link would also be on the description so after watching the video you can just head to download them so i'll just search on that psd file now So once you've seen the PSD file, you just click on it. So you click on it and allow it to load. So just be patient enough, be patient and wait for it to load. So once it loads, click the layer icon by the right. And then double click on place your design and then hide the initial design. And then click on files and then open and place to import your already made design. So you have to pick the lab where your file is saved and pick the design you just saved so allow it to load just wait for it to load so once it loads click on files and then this time around just save as mass object so this is a mistake so you click on files and then save as mass object So just hold on while it saves your design as smart object. So now after this is done, just click on the mock-up icon, not the X icon, just click on the mock-up and allow it to load to mock up your design. So just wait for it to load guys don't forget to subscribe so after this is done click on files and then export as png or jpeg i usually use png for higher quality although you're supposed to use jpeg you can use anyone you like you can choose jpeg or png you get the same thing but png gives you a higher, a higher quality than the jpeg format so now you just click on save and you can set to change the background size if you want. You just download it downloads without your data being on or off. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.